Good day viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally. Illness causes women to walk on hands. For the past 10 years, 67-year-old Paulette Griffiths has, as she put it, become like a toddler all over again. The Warsaw Trelawney woman lost her ability to walk upright in 2010 after suffering years of severe back pain and poor blood circulation. I could I walk and wash clothes and so. Sometimes I used to feel pain in my back and my back used to get cramp up. I got hospital and they told me something about poor blood circulation and arthritis. Since 2010, I not stand up or nothing. I just have a creep like me turn back baby. I can't walk none at all. Everything I want to do and if I have to move around the house, I walk on my hands. It is difficult, she said. Just outside of her house in the remote community of Blind Lane, there are a number of rocks and blocks on top of which she lies her kitchen. Every time she wants to cook, she has to travel up those rocks using her bare hands. May have a wheelchair, but to go up on the stones to go to the kitchen area, it don't work. I walk up over the stones with my hands. I never drop or tumble over yet. I never get hurt. I am a strong woman. I still cook and wash for the family, she said. Griffiths lives with her husband, Lloyd Griffiths, and four of their children. The couple had 10 children, but two are deceased. The other four live on their own. At age 39, Griffiths gave birth to daughter Winsome, who was born deformed as a result of her mother's spinal issues. When I'm pregnant with her, me used to bend down and work because of the back pain. I didn't have a choice. That's what the doctors told me, she said. Winsome just lie on the bed. She never yet go to school because she is handicapped. She is just in the house. Lloyd 80 has been living with a load of stress and heartache ever since his wife lost her ability to stand up or walk upright. All right, and I'm and this happened. She did her work right. Then she take a sudden sick, and since then, she just stay like how you see her now. It's sudden. All of them children where we have, she take care of them. And she still do work in the house. She cook and she clean for we, he said. Overall, it is very hard for the family. We need some big help for our bad. Jamaica, whatever you can do. I wouldn't mind if you can do it for us. There is a similar pain for Nigel, 35, the couple's oldest son. Seeing my mother sick like this made me feel a way. Most of the times, I me have to help her. When she go to a doctor, I me lift her up and carry her. Sometimes, I put her in the wheelchair and push it. The things that she still do for us make me appreciate her more. When she can manage, all I will help her out and cook sometimes too, he said. As the oldest, he is also the main source of support for Winsome, who is 28. She call me and me have to feed her. I do everything for her. I love her and support her through anything, he said. Griffiths' neighbor, Stephanie Bailey, said that it is painful to see her like that. I would really be happy if she gets some help. She is loving and always smiling. If she wakes up and not see you, she always calls for you if you're all right. Miss Paulette is very nice. No problem, she said. I left here last year, November, and when I come back, Mrs. says she can hardly go. It's very heartbreaking, especially when she has to go up in the kitchen. She is very strong. A she with the yard over there should everything same way, adjust the complication. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you. Thanks, my daughter.